good afternoon or good evening. Welcome to the show. My name is Jeremy. We're going to create a new file here in Krita. We're going to go for an 11 by 17 document. Comic book size. That's the way I like it. It's nice and big. 300 DPI. Check the resolution over there. Boom. Alright, we're gathered here today to make a grunt cop. And uh, let's get started with it. I got a base mesh of a male. I got some cop references. You know, it's always good to have more than one ref. If you got one ref, you just pretty much might as well just trace the thing. So we got two refs and a base mesh, and we're just gonna add them all into one. That earlier created 11 by 17 page. Boom. Don't save your changes, or you just. Save your changes to your master sheet up here. Don't change your images to your ref. Keep your refs. And then get the party started over here. Now we're going to get the images and kind of put them in some sort of easily seen area. Make them bigger. Let's see. Put this one here. Grab the next one. There. And layer order is very important. Put the put it on put what you on what on top on which one on top so you can easily see it, and then you can just throw it back down if you need later. Let's get these guys about the same ratio of height. You can see they get the. You don't want to have one. You know, I mean, if you're gonna have different size references, that's all good. But if you're gonna have full body, you know, give them the whole height. So. There we go. Gonna do a little editing. Clickety click click. Whoop. There we go. Layer change. Oop. Okay. And there you go. Reference. Very important. Now we'll get the uh, the base mesh reference. I don't know if this will be available for download or if you have to find me or you can just. Google base mesh male or female and find something to work with. So this is like a half critic tutorial, half just watch me work. I might go over the hotkeys I'm using, or Chris pretty easy to pick up if you've gotten uh, if you got uh, both hands ready to go. Um, so uh, I might. I might gloss over something, leave it in the comments if I, if I, if there's some mysterious hotkey you don't know about that I'm using. Um, generally it's, it's just the usual, uh, maybe T for, uh, moving stuff around if, if you didn't know and then, uh, yeah. Let's go. So what we got here, we're going to change our brush size up here at the top. I like a nice big 12. We're going to grab a color. I got a blue I'm working with right now, but we could just grab a little bit more official blue over here. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay. And let's get this party started. Mario, let's -a go. So I got the line tool with a V. I'm just laying out just the, like a, like a, what you'd want to see for a, maybe like a coloring book, you outline the thing, give it a little folds for some area to add some folds for the cloth. Don't forget, like maybe he's got some elbows to deal with, and like there's we're gonna I'm gonna go with adding that kind of cuff to the cop. I think that's kind of cool and official to have a cuff, so we'll give him a cuff. Don't forget folds in the cloth, give it some room. And uh, we're just laying out his uh, uniform right now. And we'll move on to like his hair and his belt here shortly. We'll just uh, mess around with uh, with step one here. And uh, don't forget with the, uh, you can just mirror everything. And oh wait, look who's working on the wrong layer. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Um, I'm going to have to kind of start over from the start because I forgot to make a new layer to draw on so control Z is your friend to undo 
and then let's just create a new layer and there we go make these locked so I don't mess with these and then uh, once again with feeling that was the old college try now we've graduated from college and let's do it one more time so making the shirt cuffs start at the bottom round two fight and uh, the secret trick to working in 3D is you can always mirror with symmetry everything you do so you only have to do half the work fun fact so laying out the lines the outlines again some more once again with feeling we're leaving room for the cuffs we'll come back to them with a different color um, you may or may not want to give the more room maybe maybe you want to give his biceps more bicep or we'll, we'll get to that in the 3d process but uh, if you want to make any changes like this is this is the phase where like you're drawing something in 2d because 2d is infinitely quicker than 3d in that if you need to make changes it's only you're leaving out a whole other dimension so um, as I said before with symmetry did half the work boom there's the other half the uh, of the shirt and then we'll just continue on with drawing some lines and then Here I am noodling with the uh, layer order and the stuff and things. And let's see here. Do a little pause for the cause. And we're back. So, got room for the cuffs over here. The symmetry worked out great. Mirror over to the side. Um, and then I'll press the wrong button real quick. And then uh, admire my line work on the shirt. Make sure it's got some room on either side. And then I'll noodle with the layers some more. And I'm going to probably try to fill in the colors here. And I'm grabbing the wand tool and just kind of easily grabbing the whole fill area to throw color in there without having to mess, go back and forth too much. So. Here's me trying to like color in some, do some coloring here. Well, I think it'll happen here soon. Yeah, and the fill. There, whoop, there it is.
Okay, now that I've OCD gotten the edges fills in there, we're gonna move back, kind of zoom out here, check the layers, new layer time, and let's see here. Uh, let's go for that other blue. Yeah, that other blue. And then let's add it. Making sure we're on a different layer, different color, different layer, unless you want it to be on the same layer. And then we'll check the cuffs, check the belt, what are we doing? Let's uh let's make the let's make the, the pants, the belt, the something. Here goes. Again, V for the line tool. Just laying out some quick lines. And it's okay if you work a little too big, just get this, get the, you know, it looks a little big comparison here. So take a good hard look. And yeah, that, that belt's kind of big. So control. R for the box and then T to bring it up and then that looks like a belt there and do a little editing E for erase on the brush tool and you just get get it right there in that spot that's the spot right there check your layers name the layers always imports haunts and then Boom, so uh, we're gonna add a pocket and a good old shield, bad shield, and um, here it goes. So E with the erase tool, and we're just gonna chip out the, uh, the stuff we want and uh, get rid of the stuff we don't want. So erase tool, and then I kind of I switch to a smaller brush. You can do that with the bracket keys, um, yeah, or you can reach on up there to the the brush size and type in something different. And I'm just gonna slowly but surely. And I no, I did not call you Shirley. I'm gonna get this pocket off of here. I have some clicking issues, but um, I'll get to that here in a second. Like it, where it unclicks. I don't know if that's a my mouse, my stylus, or yes problem, uh, but that's, you know, personal problems. Um, so, there it goes. And then, that's dug out, so then I'm gonna jump on over to the lassoish tool and just do a quick selection of what I want to keep and what I kind of put in a wall between what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of and then I'm gonna make the selection then I'm gonna invert the selection and then kapow and now we have a badge in a pocket and then 
do a little mirroring trick and he doesn't need two badges so we'll get rid of that one and, and there you are so pocketed let's do some layer kind of maintenance here give it a look see give it like a one over check your layers and there we go looking good So I'm thinking hair, maybe, maybe this color over here, and let's see here, uh, layer check, and then start with the V key for the line tool. See if it's in the right spot, move it around a bit, and then some more lines. Okay. And then, so he's got like. There we go, it doesn't quite look like Batman. <clears throat> then some more over here. And then... And then a little fill in, uh, just getting the outlines first this time, as best as I can, and then coming with the fill tool after, instead of doing the outlines last, doing the outlines kind of first this time, and then grabbing the fill tool with the good old F key after selection, and then let's see what happens. There we go. I used the fill tool a couple of times repeatedly because I saw it ate a little bit of pixels, but I still had to come in with a brush afterwards. No biggie. And now for the moment you've all waited for the cuffs on the cops shirt. Let's get her done. So, grabbing the color, checking the layer status, and start putting the cuff down. And there you go. Line tool is your friend. And then we'll just kind of copy it to the other side put it in about the right spot and kind of commit to that and then looks like yeah the boots kind of start at the bottom and work our way up with some boots So if you want, you can grab some uh, reference for boots. I've kind of done a boot or two in my time, so I kind of just riffed on a boot. It's all a boot the boot. And then uh, you'll see me use the brush tool rarely if I want to use a curve line. Uh, but generally I just, if I got to make an idea of uh, what, where, and why I use a line, it's just 
easier that way. Um, not that I use, not that I'm using a mouse 100% of the time. I'm jumping between a mouse and a stylus, just so you know, and the erase tool. So there you go. Ankles are very important. Know your anatomy, know where it's got to bend, because we're going to have to put, once we get into 3D, we're going to have to put, you know, polygons in certain places so it bends, and you can hide or not have polygons in certain places, because it's just not going to bend. And I'm going straight from the boot to the pants, not even changing layers. This is the boot pants layer. Um, Give them a little baggy 90s look at the bottom there. I'll probably keep that or clean that up later. Who knows? So I'm guessing the knee is about here and I'm chugging and then uh, close up the pants right about there and then go for this side up to the belt. Give him some room for his chunky thighs and then boom boom and then we'll just uh Kind of do a little bit of this. Duplicate the layer and then mirror. And look at that. Half the battle right then and there. You know, you know, you know, any good cop should have a radio, so we're just going to grab this real quick, noink, do a layer check, make sure we can play with it, and then there to there, just like we did with the, the badge in the pocket just grabbed it and then do a little editing with the eraser and you know just a little eraser and then maybe we'll keep the belt for like texture purposes or something for later on but here goes that, and a little bit over here, and keep that part of the belt too, and then lasso this. Okay, I didn't go with the inverted selection this time, I'm just grabbing that island of pixels and deleting it. And then wash, rinse, repeat. You do it with the other side. And then you make sure you got all of it. And then, let's see here, you take a gander. Check your layer order. And let's do a little color in of the cuffs. Now I like to Take the line color, but the fill color be different, like comic book style, just a little lighter or a little darker in some cases. It's all, it's all your artistry, man, uh, or ladies. Uh, however you wanna, you know, what colors you choose. It, it's all, it's all up to you. Uh, I'm just copying colors from the ref. You can not use the colors from the ref. Um, you do you.
And there you go. So far, 27 minutes and 40 seconds of glorious artworking. And now we'll just kind of compare and contrast and look at it. Give it a look. Give a look at that dude. And I think he needs one last little touch with the shoulder badges. Because the badges are important. And if you're going to be a cop, you might as well have a badge and some patches on the side of your shirt. So we'll add that real quick like. And then we're going to wrap this video up. And on to the next one where we take this creation of ours and we make it in 3D with Blender. We're using all free tools here. Nothing, Nothing's going to cost you anything. Crit is free. Blender is free. It's just the cost of entry is you learning the hotkeys and what everything does. And that's a steep enough ticket, right? So we'll clean this up a little bit. And then uh, we'll do a little copy to the other side with a control V for pasting. You, you, get, you guys know copy paste, right? I don't have to go over that. And then um, I want to thank you so much for spending this last 28 plus minutes together and uh, wish you a great day and we'll see you in the next video.